Right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called... Another Happy Day 2011. I hate this flick. I'm giving you one out of five stars. It was even worse than I had... Uh, it's got a lot of big-name actors from a lot of big-name movies. Um, including, but not limited to, George Kenny. It's also got Demi Moore and uh, Kate Bosworth. That's basically about a dysfunctional family who's holding a wedding for... young son who's uh, seems like the only s straight edge or uh, on the straight and narrow I guess because he lived with his uh, father or something I don't know and, uh, the other two kids who live with their mother one of them's into fentanyl and uh, alcohol, mixing them together. Kind of reminds me of a co-worker who just slept at, at his desk for nine months before they finally got rid of him after he left early for no apparent reason. And uh, then his sister likes to uh, self-mutilate. Uh, kind of reminds me of the blondie that I used to date back in the early 90s. Um, she used to cut up her legs and stuff. And then... Uh, that's about it. I mean, it's just a bunch of uh, family members crying. George Candy plays... Uh, the old invalid... He's, uh, he's either got dementia, Alzheimer's, or he's going senile, or all three. But uh, his pacemaker malfunctions, and uh, he ends up going to the, uh, having the uh, EMT guys come over right, right when they arrive. A dysfunctional family. And, uh, he plays the grandpa. It sounds like he's listening to Alex Jones on television, but later on, the uh, fentanyl junkie says that uh, he sleeps while he's watching Fox News. And, uh, there's a lot of politically correct stuff in there, like uh, they talk about global warming at the dinner table, that kind of thing. Uh, it's, it's a depressing flick. It reminded me of that suicide movie that I just saw. Forgot the name of it. I didn't just see it. It was probably a few months ago, but uh, I've already forgotten the name of it. It's, it's the one where the, the kid the high school kid, he likes to videotape himself. And there's some of that. There's another brother who's uh, who likes to videotape stuff. And uh, he's he's got uh, autism hamburger, what is, whatever it's called, the hamburger one. And uh, so he's kind of weird. He likes he likes to uh, spend a lot of time in his underwear. I don't know why this got a R rating. I guess because it has a lot of uh, foul language. It has has this uh, full frontal nudity on a guy for about five seconds, but uh, it's pretty bad. I couldn't find any plot or uh, any redeeming characters. Even the mother is always crying and uh, 
like she's helpless. She, she doesn't know how to uh, deal with uh, constant strife in her life. It's taking its toll on her. Kind of like my second wife, I guess, uh, my son's mother. Anyways, pretty grim and uh, depressing. Not not a good scene. Not a good. Uh, it was funny in *Idiocracy* when they made fun of Fox News, but this one wasn't funny when they uh, took a poke at George Kennedy sleeping while watching Fox News. I didn't find that funny at all. I don't know. This movie just rubbed me the wrong way all the way around. Uh, not my kind of flick. Definitely family drama. So I got it to be a George Kennedy completist later. So.